As Greg said, Hurricane Maria is now a Category 3 storm this morning, spinning in the waters off the Dominican Republic. This brand new video that you're seeing right here, it's from Punta Cana. It shows powerful winds and as you see right there, flooded streets. So many of you are watching Puerto Rico this morning very closely. The power is out across the entire island. That storm caused extensive damage. The governor says at least one person is dead. The big concern this morning, of course, flooding. Rain gauges show between 18 and 30 inches of rain just in the last 24 hours. Just a staggering amount of rain. Now, meanwhile, the entire island of Puerto Rico, the entire island is in the dark this morning. Many people in the Bay are still trying to contact family and friends just to see if they're OK. ABC Action News reporter Rodney Dunnigan is gathering the latest developments. Rodney, any idea how long the island could be without power? Dia, an exact timetable has not been set, possibly months, believe it or not. Now, we've been looking at these heartbreaking images throughout the morning. This morning, not only are they dealing with heavy flooding in that area, but massive devastation to homes as well as businesses. The entire power grid system is down this morning. The governor saying that no one on the island has power from utilities. At least one death has been reported there as well. A curfew on the island has been put in place from 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. through Saturday back out here live. If you need to get in touch with family, you can call the Puerto Rico Federal Affairs Administration. That number this morning is 202-800-3133. Again, that number, if you need to get in contact with family there, is 202-800-3133. Of course, we will be following developments on this throughout the morning. For now, reporting live, Rodney Dunnigan, ABC Action News.